what is sound before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly understanding sound for example when you speak you produce sound when you listen to music you receive sound when you sing you produce sound when you listen an announcement you receive sound during meeting you speak so you produce sound well from all these examples we learn that either we produce sound or we receive sound let me repeat it either we produce sound or we receive sound now the important question you should learn that how sound is produced well consider a fast moving car can you hear it while it is running the answer is yes we can hear the sound coming out of engine when the engine stops we no more hear the sound of a car secondly consider kicking a football when you kick the football motion produces an eight and you hear the dub sound coming out of the football thirdly consider the motion of a fan when it is in motion you hear the sound coming out of its hands when you switch it off the fan comes to rest and no sound is produced Thus, from all these examples, we learn that when an object is in motion, it produces sound. For example, the sound coming out of the car's engine when it was in motion. Now, the second important question is, which type of motion produces sound? The answer is very simple. It is the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion that produces sound. Let me repeat it. It is the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion that produces sound. Now, what is oscillatory or vibratory motion? Well, consider the motion of this object. This object moves up and down from a fixed point. Such type of motion is known as a oscillatory motion or vibratory motion. Remember that when there is oscillatory motion or simply oscillations, there is sound. No oscillation means means no sound thus we learn that sound is produced by the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion or simply oscillations now how does sound travel or how do we receive sound well sound travels from one place to other due to mechanical waves or mechanical movement for example, consider clapping motion of your hands. During clapping, your both hands are in oscillatory motion. Because you move both your hands back and forth, as a result, your hands produces the sound. The oscillatory motion of your hands causes vibrations or oscillation or disturbance in the air molecules which in turn causes the other molecules of the air around them to vibrate. And these vibrations from one molecule to the other help sound to travel. Thus, it is the sort of vibrations or oscillations in the air that enable sound to travel from one corner to the other. Remember that vibrations or oscillations within the ear produces mechanical waves known as a longitudinal waves. Therefore, we say that sound travels due to mechanical waves or longitudinal waves. Finally, let me teach you one bonus question. Does sound travel in vacuum? Or can you hear music in the space? Well, the answer to these both question is no. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. Secondly, we cannot be able to listen music or to listen our friend in the space. It is because sound needs a medium to travel. For example, sound needs medium like gas, solid or liquid to travel. In the vacuum or in the space, there is no air. No air means no medium. No medium means no vibrations or no longitudinal waves. Therefore, sound doesn't travel in the vacuum or in the space. Remember that the speed of sound is greater in the solid medium than the liquid medium. 
and the speed of sound is greater in liquid medium than gaseous medium to summarize my lecture we learn that we either produce or receive sound secondly we learn that sound is produced by the oscillatory or vibratory motion of an object thirdly we learn that sound travels due to mechanical waves or longitudinal waves finally as a bonus tip we learn that sound doesn't travel in vacuum or in the space it requires a medium to travel this was all about sound